Love done, no temper beat it, but that's why I gotta dream it, got a vision. Now they see it. But it ain't gon' slide, I put this rap in all my life, I put this rap in With my dogs, no pedals. Don't care what them hoes say, no quevo. You say you really out here, but you ain't even that oh. And I ain't talk about Robert when I say I need the narrow, uh. So what is up guys? It is now the next day. I didn't do anything like I wanted to last night. I tried to put this in the shop. That didn't work because the, the little dirt pile we got before you go in there turns into mud when it rains. So yeah, that didn't, that didn't work out. So, but it's the next day and um, as you can tell, we got a new radiator for this baby. I'm about to throw it on in there and um, Fill it up with water for now, just cause I I, I still don't know if this engine's any good, but I want I do want to drive it around some and see how it does. I do got a PCV valve now that I got from my brother, so I'm gonna stick that in there and route that to the uh, manifold, and uh, yeah, and we're gonna see see what we get. I gotta take this back off because I'm telling y'all, I think it's full of oil. And I think it's going to have to be either cleaned, which I don't feel like doing, or I'm going to try to just drive it till it stops smoking as much and hopefully it'll be all right then. But it's still smoking, but I think it's, it's still smoking a little bit, but I think it's mostly because it was dumping it oil in there, which is not good. So, yeah, we finna go on and change out this um, radiator right quick.
started running and it's uh it's definitely a band head gas. As you can see it's it's just straight air coming out. Definitely not a good sign. But we kind of figured it anyway. So uh yeah, it looks like we're gonna be definitely swapping this out to all. It's actually running on like two cylinders right now. And you can see the little beam of white smoke coming out the back. Uh yeah, I definitely I de I'm I'm like pretty much 105% sure that it's the head gas in there. Yeah, that's that. What's up guys, so it's now the next day and we're back in Skippers, Virginia on the way to hopefully pick up another car. This time I promise I'm gonna keep this one cause it's low mileage and it's auto and it's a 97. So. It's automatic. Mm-hmm. What? I thought you were looking for state. I don't care. So we just looked at the um, the 97 and I don't understand. It's got 113,000 miles on it, which means it should be in pretty good shape, right? But it's like fucked up all the way around. It's been in numerous accidents. It's got dents all on the top of it. And then I drive it and it's shifting funny, which I know I know automatic is gonna have a, like a hard shift because that's just the way the four cylinder automatics work. but. I don't know man, I just, I couldn't do it. So now we're in Virginia Beach pretty much for no reason, but we're on the way to Firehouse Subs and I'm gonna see if I can find any more cars around the way since we're already down this way. And hopefully I come up with something cheaper, I don't know, but either way, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't justify paying a thousand dollars for that. I mean, I know Honda's whole value, but still, that's trying, he trying, he trying to get me that time. I'm, I'm glad I'm smarter than it. What is going on guys? So it is now the next day, but I promise you this is where this video is going to get in and I will be uploading this today, which is Sunday, just because I know I didn't get y'all on Friday, then I slipped on Saturday, so, but look at what we have here, another CD5. All in all, I give it about a good I'd say about a seven, 
seven or eight out of ten as far as body goes. Runs pretty good. I, I don't know, it feel I feel like this wheel bearing might be going out. I could be wrong, but uh it's definitely got some squeak to it, so I'm I i got to look into that. I think the wheel bearing is about to give out there. I don't know what's up with me in buying cars that's got mud in it, like it's been off-road. Last night I actually took it to the car wash and sprayed it off. But um Yeah, all in all it's it's a pretty decent looking car the paint really ain't that bad uh, it's got like the dents and scratches or whatever but I mean shit it's not it's not too bad uh, it came with like a cat bag an eBay cat bag already on it the inside of course you know all this trash has to come off I don't know the fuck by a seat covers damn hate them shits, but the damn, I already took the steering wheel thing off. It had like the little steering wheel thing on and those things on the seat belt. I took that off of this side. So, so gay. But other than that, I mean, the steering wheel looks good. I like what he did with the shifter. That looks pretty good. Um, it's got a TV in it. You know, we don't care about that. But, uh, his wiring skills weren't the best, so he got like a, it's like LEDs or some shit he had strung all up in here, so I gotta pull all of that BS out. And then he had his amp wire, some some kind of hot wire fuse taped to the amp wire, I don't know. I don't know, but you can see right there in the corner. But yeah, right there in the corner you can see it's a, like a fuse or something that he had running with the amp, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a it's a pretty decent car, you know. Um, just got uh, 200,000, 201,000 on it, which the funny thing about it is, when I originally had got Keisha, it had 197,000 on it. So it's like so many similarities with this car and Keisha. It's, it's not even funny. The exhaust, when you driving, the exhaust like rattles like it's hitting the bottom of the subframe. Mine did the same shit when I had put my cat back on. What you got to do is you got to wedge some rubber between the, the frame and the exhaust and it'll quiet it right up. But um, yeah, it's just neat, man, how many how many similarities this car. I mean, the air condition is cold in here. I mean, got the sunroof, everything works, windows go down. I mean, it's, it's a decent car. Um, I promise y'all, I will be keeping this one. I know I sold a van quick as hell, but I will be keeping this. this I, I was I was fiending for another one bad. Let me show y'all the end of this. I mean, same engine and everything that Keisha had when I bought her, so it's pretty neat, man. Like. I don't know how I ended up getting back to one of these, but yeah, here it is. L22B1 VTEC. It's got a major oil leak over here, but I'm pretty sure it's either the, it's between the, the, the um, distributor seal or either the head, I mean the valve cover gas because it's pretty wet all up top here. So it's one of those two, Not, nothing major we can't fix. We'll get it done. Um, yeah, it's definitely looking back here. It's definitely gotta be the valve cover. So we'll get that fixed. And uh, yeah, but he put this cool ass intake on it. And I believe that's a real AM. That's, that's pretty neat. And um, yeah, I mean, it just needs cleaning. It's just, it's nasty under here. The car was actually sitting in the woods, which is what's so weird. Like when, when we got there, he was jumping it. And I was like, the fuck like it was it was literally sitting in the edge of the woods and i said damn i said this car ain't gonna be worth a damn and then when we actually walked up on it it actually looked better than the pictures like the pictures looked it rough but for the price man i i, I had to go look at it and so when we got there i'm glad i did go because it actually didn't look as bad in person as the pictures made it seem these rear ends are growing on me kind of like the way it looks the cat back sticking on it. But yeah, 
Uh, I'm not gonna ramble on too much, guys. I guess I'm going to end this off. It's probably gonna be a pretty long video because I know I started with putting that radiator in the square body, so it's probably gonna pretty, pretty, be a pretty decently long video. But um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. As always, guys, smack that like button and uh, respect all bills. Peace out. Side note, guys. I've got a lawnmower now. It's pretty cool.